self-restraint he is able in the circumstances to muster, because I must just direct one further gentle salvo at the Honourable Gentleman, the member for Cunning North, the Scottish Education Minister. I understand the Honourable Gentleman's predicament. It must be a source of quite the most stupefying embarrassment for him to have to come before the House today after the cat-handed, incompetent handling of the situation in Scotland. It is testimony, we presume, to their disbelief in equal treatment of every resident of the United Kingdom. And it is shameful. St Andrews, Dundee, Edinburgh, the other Scottish universities will demonstrate beyond her adventure the damage that the Honourable Gentleman's misjudgment has caused. The reality, Mr Deputy Speaker, in conclusion, is that the government's approach has been characterised by deception, by iniquity and by incompetence. The losers are the students and the higher education system of this country and for that I hope but I doubt the Honourable Gentleman will have the good grace and courtesy today to apologise to this House. Yeah. 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 Yeah.